Hi everyone, it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven and thank you very much for joining me today. And today I'm going to be showing you how I made this card. And this was put together for my design team project for Simply Made Crafts Winter Sparkle Collection. Really easy to make and yeah, I hope that you enjoy it. So let's get started. So I've cut all my supplies ready, but I'm going to go through the measurements with you. So first of all, we're going to assemble our card base. So I've got two pieces of this beautiful bright pink shimmery card. So the first piece needs to be cut at five by seven because this is going to be a five by seven card. And then your second piece needs to measure five and a half by seven and along the five and a half inch side you will score at half an inch and you want to fold on that score line and then I've added some adhesive and I've peeled off the backing already and we're just going to stick these two together so I'm going to line up my edges and then press that down and then I've got a piece of white card and this is going to go on the top like so and I've used my Tim Holtz decal edge paper trimmer and it gives that effect and this piece measures four and five eighths of an inch by six and three quarters and then I've embossed it with this embossing folder I'm not entirely sure where this one is from. I just had it in my stash, but I used that one. And then I'm going to glue that on top. So I'm just gonna add some liquid glue. Okay, so that's stuck down now and I've got three pieces of the patterned paper. So I've got two in the same design and then a different one. And then I've got two pieces of grey card that I've embossed using that embossing folder. And the paper I'm using is the Winter Sparkle paper pack. And I've cut all these down to one inch by five and three eighths and i'm wanting them to go in the middle like so so i'm going to put the two gray card down first the pink one in the middle and i want them to overlap each other and also have them at slightly different angles and then have these ones on the end like so Okay, so that's going to go like that. And then I have another piece of that pink cardstock. Again, I've cut it using the Decal Edge paper trimmer. This one measures four and three quarters by two and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of white with that Decal Edge again. And this piece measures four and a half by two. So they're going to get stuck together and we're going to do some stamping on this and this is going to go in the middle like that so i'm going to stick these down first and stick this together and then we can stamp our sentiment on there so there we go so that's now added so i want to do my sentiment and for that i'm using the Merry Christmas sentiment from the Winter Sparkle Stamp and Die Set. So I've got it in my stamping plate ready and I'm just going to try and get that as straight as possible. And I want it towards the right hand side because we're going to add our ephemera on this side and a bow. So that looks about right. And I'm using my VersaFine ink pad. And 
and we're going to add some foam pads to the back to give it a bit of dimension. I'm going to add that in the center. So that looks about right. And press that Good. down. So I want to add my ephemera. So I want to add these two trees. And I want to have the one with the star a bit higher than this one. And think I can't remember which way around I had it but that looks probably about right so I'm going to stick them I've down got this bow the last one I did was a teal color and some organza ribbon but I wanted to change this one up and I thought that this lilac would look nice I know it hasn't got any lilac on the card but I just thought that looked really pretty and for that, I just used this ribbon that I got from the range. And then finally, I got some sequins. So I'm just going to pull them in. And I have some of these larger sequins and some smaller ones. And there we go. That is the card that I did for my design team. So I hope that you enjoyed this quick card and give it a try. As always links will be listed in the video description bar below if you want to go and have a look at these over on Craftstash. And if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and please continue to support my channel by hitting that subscribe button. Until next time guys take care and I see you all very soon. Bye for now.